You have that look in your eye. What's the scoop? We're short-staffed, overworked, and trying to report on a million things at once. Not to mention there's a constant battle with the powers that be to maintain our journalistic principles. So, things are just swell. Dear Lord, everyone wants to know about Baron. <sighs> he's a smart guy. He cares about what he's reporting. He's way too damn cozy with the UC, and that's a problem for us staying impartial. My biggest beef with him is he's credited with everything he reports, and he doesn't lift a finger to correct that impression. I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. It'd probably be all for it if David asked. Would you really? I'd owe you big time if you did. You've been a huge help on my other stories. I'm sure you'd do great. Who do I look like? David Baron? Yeah, I'd give you credit for your work. Credits, too. I have a small budget for things like this. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zoran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Med Bay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing, and how things are in the well. <sighs> I really can't thank you enough. Were you seen? It's not like we're doing anything wrong. If my boss found out I was dating someone from You're in the Vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. Wrist sure makes a great steak. I'd eat there every day. You have a nice day now. If I could afford it. Always nice to see a fresh face around here. You stop in whenever you'd like. Oh, yeah? Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? Do you know why this place has stood for so long? Stay as long as you like, and don't be a stranger.
No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Nothing else. Mom, that's Kay, gets all the credit. Started making sure people felt welcome back when I was just a kid. She had one rule. No causing trouble. Everyone abided by it. Put their differences aside when they came through the door. After a few years of feeding so many mouths, we needed extra credits to stay afloat. Didn't mean for this to turn into a business, but here we are. If folks are willing to pay a little to have some place to feel safe and get a decent meal, well then, we'll sure take it. Absolutely. I'm sure my mom would be proud to have the place featured in an article. What's up? Yeah, sure thing. I'm Teresa Mason, and this is my home. My mom's the K who founded Kay's house. I grew up here along with the business. My mom passed the place on to me when she decided to retire. Running it is my pride and joy. I've put everything I have into it. <sighs> Same as ever. I've lived in the well my whole life, and things have never really changed. The UC government promises to clean the place up every couple years, but there's still just as much crime and poverty as there was when I was a kid. That's why Kay's house is so important. It's the one place people in the well feel safe. Be sure to put that in the article, okay? I'm really proud of it. Business is steady, as usual. We don't tolerate violence or disrespect, so a lot of folks like to spend time here. The only thing that's worrying me is a new group of customers I've seen hanging around lately. They've been watching the UC Surplus store pretty closely. I have a bad feeling they might be planning something. Kay's house has a reputation as a safe place. I don't want to be associated with that kind of thing. Honestly, I'd really appreciate that. I'd feel terrible if something happened and I hadn't done anything to try to stop it. Why don't you come by when you have some spare time? And we'll talk it out. Great. Let me know when the article comes out, will you? I'd like to read it. Folks gotta look out for one another. That's why I started serving food all those years ago. Limited resources. I try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. Don't have much of a choice. Can't afford to pay staff, and while I've got a few volunteers from the community, I can only ask so much of them. We've scraped by for a good long while now, and we'll continue to do so. Don't you worry. Funny story about that. You know, when people first arrived on Jemison, they dismantled the colony ship and used the parts to establish a place to live. Over time, they built out, and up, and up, and after long enough, they started to forget about the people and the things still down here. The walls and the ceiling have changed, but this place still uses equipment from that old ship. And it's here because not everyone in New Atlantis can afford Reliant Medical. A journalist? 
That's a surprise. Most people don't think anything that goes on in the well is worth writing about. I'd be happy to help if I can. Sure, if you'd like. My name's Talia. I was born and raised right here in the well. I've been the nurse here at the Med Bay for over a decade now. Once upon a time, I was a combat medic for the UC Navy. When the colony war ended, I came back to the well to put my skills to use for the people here. Things are always the same in the well. Violent and dangerous. I swear I treat more injuries here than I did when I was a Navy medic. Things are always rough at the med bay. I'm the closest thing to a doctor that the well has, and I can't treat everyone. The last few weeks have been especially bad. There's some kind of infection going around, and a lot of kids down here are catching it. It just breaks my heart to see. Oh, you're sweet to offer. There might be something you can do, if you're willing. Let's chat again when you have some time to spare, all right? All right, dear. You let me know if there's anything else I can do for you.
No loitering, okay? I don't have the patience for it. Can't say I'll have what you need, but you're welcome to look. A reporter? Fine, but I'm only talking basics. I don't like people snooping around my business. How the hell do you think? Life's a mess down here. I'm not holding my breath for it to get any better. Name's Henrik. I own Apex Electronics. That's all I'm willing to say to some nosy reporter. Door's still open, isn't it? That's my idea of success. Sorry if you were hoping for something more flowery. Great! Now why don't you help me out and buy something? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Someone's power kept going out. Know what it was? A heat leech as long as my leg. Yeah. Ugh. The overdraft fees at Galbank are out of control. Oh, yeah? Night, huh? If you have a news story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. You talk and get paid, I spread the news. It's a classic win-win. Hey, that's great! Thanks so much. Did everything go all right? Glad to hear it. I'm looking forward to reading through your notes. I can't thank you enough for helping me out. I'll send you a copy of the story if it gets published. <laughs> There's nothing like seeing your name in print. <laughs> 